Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing a video on what you need for cruising and like mooring. So let's go. <laughs> Um, especially if you're on the Kenanavan or where fluffy banks are, are is a gangplank. Um, we have a uh, like a non-slip metal gangplank, and it's really handy. And it does even come with pins that you can like hook, like p hammer in, and then it keeps the gangplank in so it doesn't fall in the water. So we have quite a long gangplank. I think you're going to be getting a bit of a longer one soon, um, but. That's what you need for mooring and also to keep your boat from not floating away onto the like onto the other side of the canal. You'll also need mooring pins. We you can have like I call it a curly mooring pin and a straight mooring pin. They're probably technical terms that probably like proper names for this, but well that's what I call them. Um, we like these ones, this one better because you can loop your rope round so if your rope does fall in then it won't um uh you know like f fall in and lose your pin <laughs> but these ones are an option as well and also if you're on a bank like this with like metal on it if you can see that you will need a dipe pin that's what i call it and um, this one is actually a bit bent right now as you can see but you do have a proper one secured right now um so those are some of the things you'll need for pinning in and then to actually put those pins in you'll need a mallet get a very heavy good mallet because i've had like a rubber one and they're really bad like insanely bad so make sure you have a good quality and good heavy mallet when you're banging in your pin also if you're like um if your pins are banged in very well and they aren't and people can't really see them you can get plant pots or plastic bags or anything big a welly or basically anything to cover that pin and we've just got these plant pots and they're actually really handy because they're bright pink so obviously people will see them so i definitely recommend getting these so people don't trip over your pins um and then, so if you're next to a hardish kind of bank like this one, because this one's metal, you'll need boingy see things. That's what I call them, boingy things. There's probably a proper term to this again, but I just call them these. Um, this is like, for example, it's a thin one, but you can also have one like this. So it's a bit thicker, um, but this one was just on hand. So um, you'll need a boingy thing, especially so, so, so like your boat doesn't like, get scratched a lot. Now moving on to things that you'll need when you're cruising. Now you'll need this for operating locks. You'll need windlasses. So you have, you have actually two kind of types of windlasses. I have them. So you can have just a short windlass uh, like this. And you can also have a long windlass with a plastic knob. Ooh, leap. <laughs> you can also have a uh, long windlass with a plastic thing you can either get them you can even get them on these short ones but i don't have one of those i just have the long one with the plastic thing and it definitely helps when because i always get like splinters and sore hands when i do the lock so this one's definitely handy so i definitely recommend getting the windlass like this and then for like filling up on water you'll need a key a waterway key and um we just have one and i do recommend putting it on a little cork because then if you drop it in it won't like float away and then you'll also need a hose tap thing thing i think that's what they're called i don't really know but um it's always handy to have a spares because we lose them quite a lot so we have a few spares but you just like screw it onto the hose and then you can put your hose in and those are definitely really handy then uh, moving on so to actually navigate around the canal you'll need a map um we just moved on to the oxford so we've got an oxford grand union and south east map but you'll need them for different canals 
and they're really handy because they have all like the things like the, all the symbols what it means so i definitely recommend you getting this so you actually don't get lost and then for dangerous locks or when you're on the river or something definitely get a life jacket and a good quality one um we've got two life jackets this one's mine Oop. and also get refillable uh gas well air thingy what's it faces um but um we got a crew saver and it's really good and i definitely recommend you getting this so if you do fall in then you at least will float um and then the last thing obviously this is not a must but i personally think you need a hat we've my mum's got a captain and i've got a crew and i think i look pretty good in it and the dog zoo as well so definitely maybe think about getting this if you want to cruise in style <laughs> hope you like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see next